Welcome, how's everybody doing today? We are back playing the hunter, a call of the wild, and I am on Emerald Coast doing some sandbar hunting. I'm taking a break from doing a bunch of crocodile and banting hunting, decided to target some of the new species of deer that we have here on Emerald Coast. Sandbar are class six animals. To be a diamond, they need to be 166.24. Now sandbar drink late in the evening, starting at 1700 to 2000 hours. So I've never been a big fan of hunting at night unless I'm forced to, to get drink zones for bears and other predators. Let's take a look at some of these drinking sandbars. So a nice level four. So sandbars are pretty heavy. So they're one of the largest deer species in the game. Didn't look like that was not a good shot. So he is still 75 to 100% run away. Save that level four for another day. So we'll reload, we'll go down and pick him up. So dark brown, pretty common color. I do like him, man. They look pretty good. So I'm very impressed with the way they look. Not much on the antlers compared to red deer and white tail, but they are large deer species. There's some more that probably ran away. So it's starting to get dark now. Foxes drink around the same time as the sandbar, so I often see both species at a drinking zone. The hog deer probably just finished drinking. Now the sandbar are coming in for their drink of water. There's a nice level four, so 595 pounds to 661 pounds. That's a big deer. That's pretty big, man. That's that's way bigger than I am. So, so we got another drink zone added to the map. Don't see. It looks like he's by himself for now. Still early. So these dark deer, they're kind of hard to spot. In the evening time so there's not much sunlight left and he's in some pretty thick cover surrounded by some hills so he just kind of blends in with the natural camouflage boom so he is down nice size level four so let's run down there and pick him up dark brown 617 pounds so it needs to be 166.43 to be a diamond so still a little more little ways to go so I'm going to show you on the map where I'm hunting right now in this drink zone. So the hog deer have just left the sandbar and started to slowly make their way to the drink zones. Already got a nice size level 5 diamond hog deer that I got in the mangroves. But look at this guy. Oh my god. I just could not believe my eyes. A level 5 albino that was just on the map. So I haven't done that much sandbar hunting. Just so lucky to see this size deer on the map spawn from the start of the game it's another nice size level four so he's pretty big 125 to 153 well let's take a look at this albino oh wow that just looks amazing god so 143 to 171 so he should be a diamond he's big enough so Let's go ahead and take a shot I'm using the 308. Beautiful. Oh my god. That's one fine looking animal. Nice antlers. So he's still calm. Close in range. Down for the count. So excited. Let's go pick him up. I think we can cross the water right here in the middle. There's some old hog deer running away. So let me know what you guys have been hunting. Have you got any interesting fur types or diamonds lately that you want to share in the comments? Look, oh man. He's an albino, great looking animal, just love the fur. Not a diamond, what the hell, 164.82, and he needs to be 166.43.
Level 5 Albino, 650 pounds. Man, he is a big boy. Very big Albino, but not a diamond. So, man, you know what? It is what it is. So, we'll say he's a fantastic looking Albino. Now, will I ever get a diamond sandbar? Yes, absolutely. Of course. Is it going to be an Albino? Probably not. I'd have to do an extremely large, a lot of hunting to get another Albino diamond. And I'm probably not going to, just to be honest, I'm not going to spend that much time hunting the sandbars to get another Albino level 5. I'll keep hunting until I get my diamond, of course, maybe, maybe more. That's just the luck of the game. I was lucky to have him spawn as a level 5 Albino. Now, I have missed shots before. And had a diamond and it got dropped down to a gold because I messed up the shot. But well, that's part of the hunting game. So, looks like some sandbars are still hanging around. So, if you walk quietly, you'll probably come back. So, I'm in Hogan's Field, right here at this little pond. So, he's running away. That's a nice size level four. We've got our level three. He's alert. He's probably nervous from the shooting going on we'll go ahead and take him out and he went down so let's go pick him up so i was recently doing a bunch of banting hunting a bunch and they're just running all over the map and i've been chasing them down probably kill 25 to 30 bantings every hunt i do trying to get as many level twos to spawn so hopefully using the herd management technique some more level five some more diamonds will spawn maybe some rare fur types but that's a lot of fun i mean i basically just chase them down i don't use any tents or tripods when i hunt the banting or the crocs i just walk along and shoot them go into their rest zones and the feeding zones and just blast them away well, like I was saying earlier, I have messed up some shots, and here's a level 9 that I spotted doing some banting hunting. Red Fox, I tracked him down, and as you can see, I shot too high with the 243, so it did not get a vital. Very disappointing because I did spend a good amount of time, but legendary, he would have been a diamond. Got dropped down to a gold because I didn't hit a vital organ. Oh my god. But that's the luck. It's happened to me a few times, but. Over the course of years of playing, I've lost a few diamonds because I made a bad shot. That's one reason a couple years ago I completely stopped shooting any type of diamond potential animal if they were laying down on the ground because their shoulder blade will block the vitals. Well, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you haven't already, do me a big favor. Hit that like and subscribe button. Keep hunting, stay happy, and I'll see you next time.